You can put it whichever way you want. You can say, seeking first the kingdom of God or whatever. Matthew chapter 6, 32, let me see what is there. Matthew 6, 32 to 33. There are other scriptures on that also. I'll give you scriptures also on those principles, those features. Matthew 6, 32. And he says, He says, you can read the whole thing before, from verse 25, but he says, we get Matthew 6, 32 and 33, he says, for the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them, you too need them, but seek first the kingdom Again, seek, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. The clamor for things. Now the Lord is saying, the spirit-filled church will have had it right. Because today the church of Christ has reversed it. They are seeking first the things of the world and then they will think about the kingdom of God. But he's saying, for a spirit-filled church, this is how you are to get it. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. In that way, you will begin to defeat the clamor for things. You come to homes like in Australia, and you find stuff, a lot of stuff in the home. There is more, but you're buying more. You're buying more. You're always buying more. Some of them you may not even need. But he's now saying that let us get the priority right. The kingdom first. A spirit-filled church will seek the kingdom first. And in the same, in that feature, we have First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 6 to 16. We're not reading all. I'll just give you the scriptures so you read later, but first, first Corinthians chapter 2 Primera Corinthians chapter 2 verses 6 to 16 look at what he says we do however speak a message of again once everybody's there that is just the first feature I have 10 points I will give you on the features that characterize the wise church, a spirit-filled church. Now I am spoon-feeding you, literally by the spoon, that you may never say, Lord, but you know he spoke, and then it was difficult to translate it into my life. Now it is being translated into your life, lifestyle. He says, he said six, he said, we do however speak a message of wisdom among the mature, but not the wisdom of this age, or of the rulers of this age, who are coming to nothing. No, we speak of God's secret wisdom, a wisdom that has been hidden, and that God destined for our glory before time began. None of the rulers of this age understand it. And if they had, they would have not crucified the Lord of glory. Down there says the spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. What I want to say about this is this. When you will seek the kingdom first, The world might not understand you. They will get you. And he says, don't worry. They're not meant to understand it. Seek 
first the kingdom. And it's very clear, it's in the New Testament, it's in Deuteronomy also. Write down the following scriptures so we don't go through all of them. Luke chapter 12, verse 31. Deuteronomy chapter 4, 24. I don't know where you read. Luke chapter 12, verse 31 also. In that picture, I have, just, I have 10 points I need to get to. And I'm giving you the relevant scriptures for them. That even as I live, you can now fall back on them. You can do a Bible study in your home. You can teach them during Bible study. Because the time for reformation is now. The church has to reform. I said Luke 12, 31. I want to read Deuteronomy, just one scripture, and then I'll move to the next. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Chapter 4. Let me find it first. Here we go. Chapter 4, verse 29. He says, he was talking to Israel, he says, but if from there you seek the Lord your God, you will find him if you look for him with all your heart and all your soul. Wow. The wise child. So when the wise church, even in this hour, will seek the kingdom first and seek him with all her heart, she will find him. He says, I will be found by you. That is a promise. How awesome. Then you will find the Lord. Even the anointing you've been looking for, you will find the favor, name it, deliverance. I want to finish with that. Jeremiah chapter 19, chapter 29, verse 13, the same thing. And Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. I, I need to move the second point. Seek the kingdom of God first. The wise church that is spirit filled seeks the kingdom of the Lord first. Before anything else. In other words, before I do anything else, I will be able to use the barometer of the kingdom of God to measure it. Do I need this? Do I need to do this? How does this glorify the kingdom of God? Or help my seeking of the kingdom of God? Does it draw me closer to the Lord? And then I give you the... Let me read all the scriptures under that point that you may... Make sure you got them right. Matthew chapter 6, verse 32 to 33. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 6 to verse 16. We only read a little bit. Luke chapter 12, verse 31. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 24. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 29. Jeremiah 29. 13 and Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. I need to move the second point. What are the features that characterize the wise church, the church with oil, the church that enters? <coughs> that church seeks the kingdom of God first. Number two. Point number two. Feature number two. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul, your mind, and your strength. She loves the Lord her God with all her heart, her soul, her mind, and her strength. 